Hey, my name is Colin Coker. I live in South Carolina. My YouTube channel is The Highway Southerner, and you are watching TJV. Sounded like a weed whacker. I think that was half a car, man. I think it was half a car. In some places, I don't know if this is politically correct or not, but we call them rice rockets. Am I allowed to say that? Well, I said it. Rice rockets. Oh, those little tiny cars, you know, usually little Honda Civics or similar cars that are from places where they eat more rice than they do here, right? That's why they call them ricers or rice rockets right doesn't that make sense it makes sense to me just like you know uh, Lamborghinis and Ferraris are called pasta rockets right what are American cars called then uh cheeseburger rockets <laughs> I just made that up now okay all right good morning we're here in Quebec 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 uh, just north of Montreal here at this uh, fancy little rest area. If you would believe it, this uh, medieval looking building here, that is a McDonald's. Like what, right? And there's a matching building over there with an SO, uh, with some SO pumps. That's the gas bar, like fancy, eh? And if you look over there, I'm kind of a flag fanatic. Those are the flags of Quebec. Yes, we are still in the nation of Canada, but they just don't fly Canadian flags as often in Quebec. Because they're Quebec. And good for you, Quebec. Good for you. I wish the rest of the country was as proud of our heritage and culture as you are of yours here in Quebec. Really admire that about Quebec. I'm hard on you guys, I know. I like to poke at you every now and then and bug you, but I do have a lot of respect for the Quebecers out here and how they protect their culture. And I have a weasel over there that needs to use the outdoor facilities. So let's do this. One second. You stay there. I'll come around to your side, okay? All right, bud, do your thing. Do your thing, man. That's a great pole. That is a great, that's a light pole, man. Those will come in handy at night. I'm glad you picked that. It's his now. Hey, let's get out of this muddy area here, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, don't act like this is like the end of the world. No, I don't want to go. There you go. Good boy. What a beautiful day outside, eh? Beautiful day. The evil day star is being very good to me. Take your time, take your time, that's okay. Take your time, there you go. All right, okay. All right. Let's get out of here. I still feel like that little piece is in my eye. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop at a shower somewhere and try to flush it out in a sink, like fill it up with water and flush it out. We'll see, I can't really feel it that bad right now, so maybe I'm just imagining it, maybe I'm just paranoid. That's a bumper, someone left their bumper there. Okay, welcome to uh, Quebec here. Uh, bienvenue, bonjour. Continue 20 kilometers on North 15 North. Mandy, we're in Quebec, you gotta speak French. Get it right. You know, God forbid we do the speed limit or anything, you know. I'm fine with doing, you know, 70 kilometers an hour in a hundred zone. I'm fine with that. Oh, let's do 60, yeah, let's go slower. Let's go slow, let's enjoy the scenery. I, I totally understand, let's just enjoy life. It's the weekend, enjoy life, 60 kilometers an hour. Oh yeah. 35 mile an hour in a 60 zone. You bet. So the scenery here is actually pretty nice up north of Montreal. They got a lot of nice rolling hills. It's sort of an extension of the Appalachian Mountains. 
I don't know if these are still called the Appalachian Mountains or not. I'd have to do some research on that, but I, I believe it's the same fault line. And uh, they're all, you know, connected. Because right now here in Montreal, we're directly north of, what, Vermont? And uh, those states there, New England, sort of. Maybe New York. You can see it on the map. You can see it on the map. Oh, we're doing 80 now. Woo! These guys are serious. They're in a rush. Oh, boy. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, you probably have no idea why I'm talking about why they're going slow. So I'm going to do this and say, ha, go back and watch yesterday's vlog. It is a fantastically beautiful day once again here in Quebec. Just finished my delivery in St. Adele, and now we're gonna be headed into New Brunswick. So we got a bit of a drive today. Pretty much all day we'll be driving, and we'll have tomorrow off, and Monday we start delivering in New Brunswick. I believe I have one or two there, one in Nova Scotia. I'll have to check my paperwork again, but I do know that once we're done in the Maritimes there, we head onto the ferry and go to Newfoundland. Diesel, hey. He's in the shadows there. Sniffing up, there's so many trees, man. I just want them all. I want all of them, man. It is hot out here in Quebec. Oh, oh yeah. It is summertime in Canada. Daisy, what you think of it? What you think? You like it, don't you? You see, there's other dogs over there, right? He's got eagle eyes. It's insane. He sees better than I do. Really, he should be driving. But we're done delivering here in St. Adele, and I want to give a special shout out and thank you to someone who came and said hi to me here. You made my day, you made my week, you made my month, my year maybe. Uh, his name is, uh, I hope I pronounced this right, Maxim or Maxim. Thank you so much for coming to say hi to me. He told me his story and uh, he's been going through a rough time. He was in the hospital for a little while and uh, he got better, which is good news. But while he was in the hospital and feeling down, he watched my videos and he says that they lifted him up and made him focus on being positive. And that really meant a lot to me because that's exactly what I want my videos to be. So thanks for coming to say hi to me, man. It really meant a lot to me, made my day, and I uh, haven't been able to stop smiling since then. Uh, I love it when you guys come and say hi to me when you do see me. You sort of got to run into me by chance because I don't share my location uh, just for several different reasons. I don't tell people ahead of time where I'm going to be. But if you do run into me and you do see me, by all means, you can come and say hi to me. I won't bite. Uh, I'm not stuck up or anything. I would like to talk to you guys. It's just for, uh, you know safety reasons and whatnot. I don't want the entire internet knowing where I'm going to be and when. I'm sure 99% of you can understand that. Uh, so if you do run into me by chance, I love seeing you guys and I love hearing stories like that. That was amazing. And I'm really glad you got better and that uh, you got out of the hospital, man. Really glad things are going better for you. So where are we off to now, Captain? I'm going to call you Captain Eagle Eyes from now on. I'm a dog, man. I got dog eyes. Now that we're done in St. Adele here, our next delivery, I believe, is in New Brunswick. New Brunswick, land of the nice people. New Brunswick. You guys ready to go to New Brunswick? Uh, we're going to Beresford, New Brunswick, wherever that is. And then from there, it looks like we head to the ferry to go to Newfoundland. Newfoundland. The Newfoundland. It's not new anymore. You should really change your name. It's not new anymore. Though I guess in comparison to the rest of the world and the rest of the settled world, it is new because it wasn't settled or developed till after. You know what I mean. We're going on a boat. So a little update on my eye today. It was this eye. You can tell it's still a little bit swollen. This eye looks swollen too though. Like what in the world? My eyes both look sore. Uh, and they both feel kind of dry, but this is the one where I, it felt like I had something in it. Like I might have an infection or uh, an eyelash stuck in there under my eyelid that I couldn't get out. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's better or not today yet. It, it doesn't seem as irritated. It's still a little swollen and it's red. We're just going to keep wearing these shades so that people don't notice that. But I'm keeping an eye on it. See what I did there? Keeping an eye on it. And if it does get worse, I'm going to have to find a walk-in clinic and go get it checked. But I'm thinking it's going to be fine. I'm thinking it's just, I probably just got something in there that wasn't supposed to be in there and it'll work itself out eventually. We'll see. It's not that bad. It's not like irritating me that bad but it is your eyeball so you don't want to mess around with that either right so i will keep you updated throughout the day of how it is but so far so good so far it's all right it's good it's just a little sore from yesterday i think i mean if it really was that bad i'd be panicking a lot more and trying to get to a, a doctor or something and telling everybody there's something in my eye right so uh 
no, I feel okay. I feel okay. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. This is in the past anyways, right? It's in the past. All right, so I sat here figuring out where we're going to go to tonight. We're going to go to uh, Dalhousie, New Brunswick. There's a truck stop there that we're going to stay at for the weekend. Not much to do around there, but at least we've got a safe place to park. It's 900 kilometers from here, so driving at highway speed, that would be nine hours of driving. How many miles would that be? 500 or so, I'm just guessing. So it's a full day's drive to get there. We'll get there late tonight. Once we get into uh, New Brunswick, we jump into Atlantic time zone, which is one time zone east from Eastern. So it's further east than New England in the United States. So we lose an hour as we head east tonight. These are look, there's horses on the other side there. Over on the left there. Horses! Turn left on Rue Morin. Then turn fun. left. No, Mandy, I'm gonna go straight. You don't know what you're talking about again. What's wrong with you? Look at this car that's gonna go up past on our left. BMW supercar. At least it looks like a supercar to me. That thing looks like a Ferrari. This is BMW on it though. Turning everybody's heads. Wow, I want that car. So we're just gonna pass through downtown St. Adele here. It's a small little town. It was very nice, very beautiful. Old architecture. Porsche too. Oh, yeah, you can go in front of me. Go ahead. Lots of nice cars here. That's amazing. Apparently, there's a lot of rich people in Quebec. Look at that. Wow. Fancy, fancy. This is a beautiful little town here. So beautiful, Mandy doesn't know where to go. She's like, I want to go everywhere. Here, I want to see it all. Down the hill here, uh, we're gonna get back onto the freeway, which takes us down to Montreal, head through Quebec City, and up and over top of the state of Maine, USA, uh, on the Canadian side of the border. Turn right on Rue Morris Avalon. No, man. Then turn right. I know you want to see everything, but no. Look at this, classic French architecture on the right there. You see that? I don't know if that picked up on the camera. That was classic French. The only thing they could improve are the roads. The roads in Quebec are terrible, but the people, the culture, and the buildings are just amazing. If I could speak their language, it would be even better. See, Mandy, I know where I'm going. Oh, I know why. For some reason, the GPS is saying this little on-ramp here is a no-truck road. She keeps dinging at me. You're not allowed here. This is a no-truck road. Excuse me. Man, you, again, don't know what you're talking about. Why would the on-ramp be a no-truck road? It's going onto a major highway. <laughs> the highway, you're allowed to drive on the highway, but you're not allowed to get onto the highway. I see how it works.
Quebec. You'll notice something when you come to Quebec that uh, their portion sizes at the restaurants and fast food places are a lot smaller. They're very smaller, but on the upside, everywhere you look in Quebec, you see considerably, largely, like hugely amounts of less obese people. I don't think I've even seen an obese person in Quebec ever. I don't know. I don't know if they just work out better. Maybe they got better metabolisms. It could be that their fast food joints offer smaller portions. You order a large McDonald's or a large meal at St. Hubert, you're gonna get like a small size compared to what you're used to. If you're used to like Western Canada or the rest of Canada and America, Quebec is uh, less. So if you're really, really hungry, you're gonna have to order two in Quebec. Cause it isn't really even enough to fill me up, but I do got a little bit of extra. Unfortunately, I'm trying to give some of it to Diesel because he needs some. He's skinny. Look at you, you skinny guy. I'm trying to take some of my fat and give it to him and share, you know? All the family, right? No? So I'm going to put my sandals on and walk in there in socks and sandals like a boss. I'm going to go get some Timmy's. i got to get some more water. I've got to, uh, I should buy McDonald's, but I, no, I shouldn't buy McDonald's, I mean, but I really want to. I really, really want to. Could you just, maybe just fries. Maybe just fries. Fries is okay, right? I can get away with just having fries. Treat myself. It is the weekend. Diesel, what do you think? Should I get some fries? Should I get fries? McDonald's fries? Yeah? Now I have to. So we just arrived here in Quebec City the capital of the province of Quebec. Makes sense, it's Quebec, Quebec, sort of like New York, New York. We're just gonna stop in at their Walmart Supercenter here. Turn left on Avenue Jules Verne. And uh, grab some entertainment, some movies, cause I may have to wait for quite a while to get onto the ferry, it's the busy season. So usually at this time of year, they have three ferries going instead of just the two regular ones. But I'm not sure. Uh, since it's the busy season, I may have to sit there and wait for like 24 hours to get on the ferry. Some people have had to wait even longer than that. So I decided to stop in here at Walmart and get some $5 movies. Okay guys, somebody explain to me why Walmart is closed at 5 p.m. on the weekends in Quebec. I'm just gonna let that sink in. On the weekend, when everybody's not at work and they all wanna go to Walmart and spend their money, they close the store down at 5 p.m. Since when does Walmart even have a closing time? Walmart, I'm disappointed. You know what, Quebec, I think you missed the whole memo of what Walmart is. I'm disappointed. How can you close Walmart on the weekends at five o'clock? I don't understand. I'm, I'm like a lost little puppy right now. I don't know what to do. I, 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 I almost want to cry. Okay, maybe not that bad. I'm a little bit upset though. I went out of my way to come here. Walmarts are not supposed to close. They're supposed to be 24 hours or at least open until like a reasonable hour. I don't know, like 10 or 11, even nine would be more reasonable. Five in the afternoon? That's not even, that's like before supper. What if you wanna go and buy something after supper? Sorry, not on the weekends. Like I'm just confused. I'm sorry if I'm making a big deal out of this, but this is a big deal for me. Like I, I'm so confused. Do they not want to make money? Are they not about making profits? Like is this not a normal society where people wanna make money so that they can spend their money at other places? What's going on? Which way do I go, Mandy? You want me to go right? Okay, I will go right then. Look at all of the, all of this closed down. Everything closed down. Six like it's six o'clock right now on Saturday. Everything on a Saturday. Drive one point three kilometers, then turn left onto Ot Fortio. See now, if I was a business in Quebec, I would stay open till a normal business hour, like 9 p.m., and I would have everybody's business. And guess, guess who takes home everybody's money? 
me. But you know what I bet it is? I bet you. I bet you it's a law. I don't know if it'd be a provincial law because I don't know if Montreal is the same as Quebec City. It might just be a city bylaw that they have to close down at a certain time because it just doesn't make sense. A good businessman or businesswoman would stay open when the majority of their customers are going to be out and about wanting to spend money. Home Depot's closed too. Home Depot. Saturday evening is the main prime time when people want to go and buy their supplies. That's when they're all at home bored thinking, hey man, maybe I should finish the deck tonight. Let's go to Home Depot. Oh wait, they're closed. I guess I'll just keep my money then. This rant has gone on for a long time. I know. Bear with me, people. Bear with me. I haven't gone on a rant like that in a while. Uh, that was worthy of a rant. That was worthiness. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. What have you done to me? You forced me to watch old truck stop movies. Diesel, what are we gonna do? I'm leaving your city. You close Walmart down at five o'clock, I'm out of here. That's not my kind of city. We've made it into New Brunswick here. We're going through Northern New Brunswick towards uh, Beresford. We're gonna be passing Campbellton in uh, about a half hour or so. I'm not too sure which little town this is that we're in here, but it's uh, a small Acadian town. Uh, it's a French town, but not Quebec French. This is a different kind of French. Different group of people up here in Northern New Brunswick. They even got their own flag. It's the flag of France with a little golden star in the top left corner. Look at this little Northern New Brunswick French town. This is a new one. Well, it's not a new town, but it's a different one. In 350 meters, no. turn left on 17. Okay. Casse Populaire Acadien. That's the Acadian Credit Union. I don't know if you guys can see anything at all. The lights here aren't that bright. It's a northern New Brunswick town. Oh, what a day this has been, eh? So, the day's over. Whew. I'm at the end of my day, and uh, so are you at the end of this day, at the end of my day. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's time for bed, so I'll see you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, all the good buttons, and I'll see you tomorrow.